before we export, we are actually going to add the image modeling node. The image modeling node will allow us to extract textures and build some simple geometry based on the footage, something that is called image modeling. So let's see how to do that. Under the first orient scene, right click, I have the geometry and I have the image modeling node. So I'm going to vertex editing and I'm going to click on move. And again, it will be a good idea to get rid of the grid for now. And let's go back to the cinema view. I'm going to take this point and move it over here. So I got this box ready to go. And now if I scrub through the timeline, it should stick in place. If it starts shifting, you can take those vertices that you moved and snap them back into place where they're supposed to be. If we look again at the 3D space, there's my first box right over there sitting nicely on the grid. And what I can do with it is I can change the display to the textured so I'll see exactly how the footage is being projected from the camera straight into the geometry. And in a case like this, I will also be able to export this as textures that might be used by other artists such as matte painters. So after the initial box, I'm going to take the plane, or also known as a grid, and I'm going to activate the rotation. I'm going to rotate it and make sure it sits on the grid to simulate the floor. I'm going to take the translate, move it down until it sits right on the grid. Let's move it over here and right over there. And now I can take the scale and scale it up. I'm going to need to move it again. So I'll take the translate, move it right over there. Scale. It's going to scale it up right on the on the Y axis because the Y is now pointing this way and not to be confused with the Y axis that belongs to the 3D world, which points up. Just finesse it a little bit. And this one, this grid can also have the textured. So I'll be able to see the footage projected as the camera progresses. Very nice. Here's the box with its projection. It's kind of hard to see because it's small right over here. And then there's the grid itself or the plane that we just used. So now after we had these two geometry pieces, we can go ahead and export our scenes into Maya. So we worked with the image modeling node and we saw how to put a couple of pieces of basic geometry that will also carry out the projected texture. Next, we can export and work with a new feature in PFTrack called the Trees Presets.